Praise God, praise God, and good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're watching us from. I know we are being watched in the whole world. Ah, uh, this is my name is Ian Kamande, and uh, this is this is uh, Behold Us Chat Show, and I want to welcome you. Uh, a show that is brought to you each and every Friday, 8 p.m. by the Christ Beholders here at Wema TV. Uh, I want to welcome you. Uh, we, you can call somebody, you can share this link uh, with all of them that you want to be here. Everyone that you know is interested with the message of the gospel, you can call them so that we can walk together. Thank you for being here. Uh, today, I am not alone. I have a fellow minister, a fellow friend, and a fellow brother who will introduce himself uh, as we continue because today I want us to talk about salvation. But before we start, I want us to pray for a minute, then we continue. So let us pray. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, for, thank you God, because where your word is, light is. And thank you because... When your word comes in us, it makes us see life as you see it. Your word is our reality. Your word creates realities. And we know that as we see you, we see reality and we see ourselves as you see us. We thank you because we know that you're going to reveal yourself to us. You're going to reveal yourself to us in, uh, in our spirits, through your spirit who lives in us and works in us both to will and to do of your good pleasure. The Bible says that as we look at the mirror, which is the word of God, we are transformed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the spirit of the Lord. Thank you for your word. And as we have this conversation, you're the one speaking through us. In Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen. Amen and amen. So welcome again to the Beholders Chat Show. And I want to introduce my brother. I want to give him a moment to introduce himself and uh, tell us something. So Randy is kind of blessing. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Freddy Sky Blessing. And man, I'm blessed to be here. Today it's going to be fiery. <laughs> it's going to be fiery. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being available. Thank you. <laughs> and present for the word of God. You know, we usually say we don't have any other story. Yeah. Our story is Christ, Christ. and what he has done. Yeah. Uh, we have had many shows in the past. And one thing I've realized that as we as we continue to open the word of God to the people, we ourselves are learning more and more. Yeah. Or what can you say about that, sir? Yeah, the more we know Christ, mm -hmm. the more we know the word of God. Yes, sir. The more we are awakened to the reality of who we are. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the more we have to tell other people. Yeah, So that they yeah. can also come to this reality. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, today we have a topic. Mm -hmm. And the topic for today is salvation. And before I begin, uh, what is salvation to you? Or, okay, not to you, but according to how you understand salvation. What can you tell us about salvation? Okay, salvation. Yes, salvation sir. is a gift. Mm -hmm. It's a gift that carries many things inside that. It's like a box yes, of sir. biscuits mm -hmm. that has different biscuits inside. Yes, sir. It has deliverance, it has mm -hmm. healing, mm -hmm. it has rescue, mm -hmm. preservation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is salvation. Mm -hmm. When you receive salvation, yes, you have received the totality of the gifts that are inside there. Wow. Yeah. So salvation is not one thing. It's not you one thing. Us it's a package. It's a package. And uh, I think according to me, I can uh, I can put salvation uh, as a way. Mm -hmm. I can say salvation is the way to God. Yeah. And I think we shall see that in the Bible. So for, for the opening verse, I want us to open with a verse in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, for those who are watching. And I'm going to use the New King James Version. The Bible says that there is a way that seems right to man, but its end is the way of death. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus comes and tells us that I am the way, yeah. <laughs> the truth, and the life. So according to, G according to the Bible, there are two ways mm -hmm. to God. Because when, he, when Jesus is saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he says that there is only one way to the Father. If you, want to, if you can't go to the Father apart through me, yeah. if you don't go through me, you can't go to the Father. Yeah. 
But now he says, the Proverbs tells us that there is another way that seems right to man, but its way is, is the way of death. Its end, sorry. Its end is the way of death. Mm -hmm. So, there is a way, and, and uh, if we can define death, death is separation from God, according to the Bible. Yeah. And we get that from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 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 three. three when God says that if you eat of the fruit of good and evil you will surely die. die you will surely die and then man eats the fruit and Abraham does not cease to exist but Ab uh, not Abraham Adam and Eve mm -hmm. do not cease to exist yeah. they die but which kind of death do they die they are separated from God because we see the question that God asks when he gets to the garden Adam where are you it is not that God could not see Adam mm -hmm. but Adam had been separated from God yeah. and that yeah. means Adam had died and it's important to say that you cannot die physically before you die spiritually mm -hmm. even physical death is as a result of spiritual death spiritual death is the separation from God you cannot die physically before you die spiritually that is why jesus on the cross had to had to first give up the ghost the holy spirit to the father so that he could die otherwise jesus could not have died on that cross unless he gave up his ghost unless he gave up he, the spirit of god that was working in him jesus would have stayed alive on that cross but the moment he gave up the ghost the bible says that he died he yeah. breathed his last mm -hmm. and died so physical death is as a result of spiritual death and now the death that is being spoken about in the book of proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 is the spiritual death is separation from god so the bible says that there is a way that seems right to man that leads to spiritual death mm -hmm. or separation from god and then the book of john tells us that there is the way to yeah, god yeah and jesus is the way to god so, I want now to open the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about this way, and what do you and and uh, how how does this way relate to salvation? Yeah, just as the as the book of Proverbs says, mm -hmm. there is a way that seems to be right for a man, mm -hmm. but the end therein is death. Mm -hmm. There are many ways by our own conclusions. Mm -hmm. We can conclude that this is the right way that we should follow. Yes, sir. But they are not the ways. We only have one way, which mm -hmm. is Jesus Christ. There's only one way. Yeah, one way. Wow. You know, the Bible says that the Son of God was crucified before the foundation of the world. Yes, sir. This is to say, mm -hmm. it's all, the only way we have it is the way of the Son of God. Wow. Who prepared for our salvation mm -hmm. beforehand, before even anything existed. Wow. Salvation was provided. Before even man sinned. Yeah, before even man sinned. Mm -hmm. So that is the only way of believing in him and following him yes, sir. before you are invited into works yes. we are first invited into salvation wow yeah and and, and uh, we are invited into salvation which is in the only way mm -hmm, yeah. the way that you're talking about mm -hmm. is the way of christ yeah the way which is christ yeah now uh there are some people who tried another way mm -hmm. to try to to get to god yeah and uh the you know we shall say that the, 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 we call it the integrity of the scriptures, mm -hmm. the integrity of the word of God. Yeah. It must stand. Yeah. He says there is no word that he has spoken that goes back to him void. Mm -hmm. It must accomplish that yeah. which he has yeah. sent it to do. Yeah. Now this verse, mm -hmm. the verse Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12, it stood and we have seen it standing yeah. uh, even when tested by time. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people who asked for another way to relate with God yeah. or away to God, mm -hmm. which are the Israelites in the in the in the in the book of Exodus yeah. chapter nineteen. Yeah. They tell God that tell us what you want us to do mm -hmm. and we shall do. Yeah. And yeah. immediately in the in the book of Exodus chapter twenty, God calls Moses to the the mountain mm -hmm. and he gives him the ten commandments yeah. which men had asked for mm -hmm. it was not in the perfect will of god yeah. to give these commandments mm -hmm. and he gives them the commandments and on the first day that they received those commandments yeah three thousand people died so yeah. they asked for another way to relate to god mm -hmm. and the first result was death yeah. What do you think, sir? In fact, when Moses was given the commandments, mm -hmm. even before he gave them to the people who asked for it, yes, sir. he broke them. He broke them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by himself. Yes, sir. Which, which tells us it is very difficult for us to follow 
any way yes, that we, dis- we think we can do. Yes, sir. God doesn't want us to relate with what we think it is right. Wow. Can you say that again? God doesn't want us to relate with him with what we think is right. Wow. He wants, he wants us to relate with him with what he has prepared and he says this is the way. Wow. We can't be perfect mm-hmm. by following our own actions, our own ways and our mm-hmm. own ideas. Yes, you know salvation is not a human idea. Wow. It was not a human thought. Mm-hmm. No, this was the thought of God. Mm-hmm. Of making man, of bringing man to his own fellowship. Yes, sir. Man was invited. Mm-hmm. And once you are invited, you have been called to make Mary. Yes, not to come up with your own solutions, your ideas. You want to decorate this salvation. No. <laughs> you, you have just been invited to come and make Mary. You've not been, <laughs> you've not been invited to decorate salvation. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You have just been invited to make Mary yeah. and enjoy. Wow. So you have been ushered mm-hmm. into Christ, who is the only way. Yes, sir. Any other way will lead you astray. Wow. That's why you are seeing many people who followed the way in the Old Testament, their own ways, mm-hmm. and they killed them. They wow. asked for the commandments. The commandments killed mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. But there was a way that was given before. Mm-hmm. The, the way was like, follow Moses. Yes, sir. That was the only way. Mm-hmm. When you follow Moses, you're obeying God. Mm-hmm. But now they said, no, Moses is, M- Moses is hard for us. Mm-hmm. Hard. Let us, ha- let us hear from God. We also need to hear from God. Yes, sir. And now I remember Moses went and told God, now speak to your people. Uh, yeah, and, when, speak to your people. <laughs> and when God spoke, they said, well, no, <laughs> this voice is. Yeah. They, they, they can't listen to him. They cannot handle it. Yeah. yeah. So God gave us Jesus Christ as the way. It's only through Christ Jesus we can be able to relate with Him. That is the way. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And and, and 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 that is amazing. That's amazing. That's a, an amazing thing to think about. Yeah. That this way, they had asked for it. Yeah. As you have told us, mm-hmm. it was their own way. Yeah. They had asked for it, mm-hmm. and that way killed them. Yeah. Oh, that is so amazing to think. And now, I want us to take that direction and uh, and talk about why did man ask for another way? Mm-hmm. Yet there was the way uh-huh. that God had prepared mm-hmm. even before salvation. Yeah. Because because we see man, mm-hmm. and uh, and we, we shall later see Jesus talking about it in the book of Matthew chapter nineteen verse eight. We see we see we see man chose his own way instead of the way of God mm-hmm. before we before I take uh, before I I, I I give my thoughts on it yeah what do you think about that why did man choose his own way apart uh, instead of the way of God this began in the book of Genesis mm-hmm. with Adam and Eve yes sir. God gave them the way mm-hmm. but they chose to choose their own way mm-hmm. and that way killed them yes sir. so there's a way that is given by God mm-hmm. but, but again there's mm-hmm. also another thought that comes in a man mm-hmm. and this thought mm-hmm. that will come inside a man yes, it will be motivated by the devil mm-hmm. wow. wow wow yeah motivated yeah by the okay. devil mm-hmm. and you will think this is a good idea mm-hmm. and when I follow this a good idea mm-hmm. I will be better yes. and I will be more exposed, I will be better than, than even the go- God's idea. Yes, sir. You're trying to make what God has made mm-hmm. perfect. Yes, sir. That is another way. Yes, sir. And when Adam and Eve tried to follow another way or, or let's say they tried to advance this, uh, this thing of the way of God, they found themselves separated <laughs> from him. <laughs> You're trying to perfect the way of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried to perfect it and yeah. they were separated oh, wow. from him. Now, what makes a man decide to choose another way? Mm. It is the thoughts. The thoughts. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sometimes the devil can use your thoughts and mm. begin to lie to you and show you, why don't you do this? Mm-hmm. Why don't you do this? Mm-hmm. Why don't you do this? Yes, sir. But they forget, you forget, before what Adam forgot yes. is that before you thought of doing that, God had already God. done this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what wow. they what they were doing yes, sir. was what they were doing was it was a way of death. Yes, sir. It wasn't it was not a solution. Yes, sir. They were just destroying what God has done mm-hmm. because they were called into a perfect relationship. Oh, wow. Yeah. They were called into a perfect relationship. Yeah. But they, they tried to perfect the perfect relationship. Yeah, yeah. They tried to perfect the perfect <laughs> relationship in their own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They destroyed it. They God. destroyed it all. And they separated themselves yeah. from God. Mm-hmm. Not God from them. But themselves, themselves from, from God. God. And from the God. same same God came. Mm-hmm. He says, mm-hmm. and God was in Christ, yes. reconciling the world back to himself. himself. Yeah, he brought them back. Not himself to the world. Not himself to the world. Because God never left. God never That's left. Very important to understand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Wow, I love this. Now, uh, there's something you've said. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
man in the garden of Eden. Let us start from Genesis. Yeah. You know, the Genesis is the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says beginning from Genesis. Mm -hmm. And you know that is repeating itself. <laughs> Genesis means beginning. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The Bible says beginning from the beginning. Yeah. Because where else should you begin? <laughs> we should always... To, to establish everything, we should begin yeah. from the beginning, yeah. which is Genesis. And I want to go to Genesis chapter 3. The Bible says, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said? You know, I like that. Mm -hmm. Has God indeed said? Yeah. You shall not eat of every tree mm -hmm. of the garden. And number one, that is a deception. Yeah, it's a deception. Because God had not said that yeah. uh, man should not eat from every tree. Mm -hmm. He said you should not eat from one tree yeah that is in the middle of the garden mm -hmm. the tree of good and evil yeah and the woman said to the serpent we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said you shall not eat it nor shall you touch it mm -hmm. lest you die but do you see the woman had added something yeah yeah nor shall you touch it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, <laughs> we, shall, we shall look at that later. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Now look at this. Mm -hmm. God has said, When you eat of the fruit, yeah. you will die. Yeah. But the serpent has said, You will not surely, surely die. die. The Bible said, uh, the Bible says, uh, the serpent continues saying, For God knows that in the day you eat of it, mm -hmm. your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Yet, man was already like God. Yeah. But the serpent is telling him, mm -hmm. you will be like God. He's telling yeah. them that you will be like God. Yet, man was already like God because the Bible tells us that in the book of Genesis 1 27, mm -hmm. he was created with the image, image and, and the likeness. likeness of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Bible says, so when the woman saw that the tree was uh, was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, mm -hmm. her own eyes, yeah, good for her own food, yeah, and a tree desirable to make her wise, yeah, <laughs> she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. So you told us about thoughts mm -hmm. that it is the thoughts of a man yeah the thoughts of a man mm -hmm. here we see the thoughts of a woman anyway <laughs> it's not about the gender but it's the thoughts of a man yeah. that led man to think that his way is better yeah from what we have read what can you derive from that sir? in fact isaiah tells us mm -hmm. your thoughts are not my thoughts mm -hmm. the thoughts of a man mm -hmm. they are not the thoughts of god mm -hmm. god has good perfect mm -hmm. has a perfect thoughts for us yes, as sir. jeremiah says mm -hmm. for i know the plans i have for you mm -hmm. says the lord mm -hmm. but again it's another plan that a man has wow. i think that's what happened in genesis mm -hmm. god had already planned and had had a good thought mm -hmm. about adam yes, and sir. eve mm -hmm. because you know they were supposed to be the first expression of the son of god yes, sir. but now they they just messed up mm -hmm. they didn't make it to be the first expression of the son yes, of sir. god because mm -hmm. they fell short yes. but now the thoughts of a man mm -hmm. will only be controlled either by god mm -hmm. or by the devil wow. Wow. it's either they be controlled by god or by the devil mm -hmm. and this and and it the devil will control you if you don't keep yourself alive wow. in the frequency mm -hmm. of God. Wow. That's when the devil will wow. take the advantage. Wow. Yeah. You said, you said frequency. Yeah. And frequency comes from sound. Mm -hmm. It comes from a sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we see the problem here. You said the thoughts of a man will either be controlled by God yeah. or by the devil. Yeah, yeah. And what they will use to control the 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 thoughts of a man mm -hmm. is the word is the words yeah yeah it's the word mm -hmm. so you either believe in the word of god or the word of the devil yeah god has said you will surely die satan has told you you will not surely die mm -hmm. <laughs> you will be like god and now the problem comes when ma when the woman chooses to believe another word yeah that is opposite mm -hmm. that is against the word of course yeah uh -huh. what do you think about that now what happened if so you know the devil came with uh, some sweet words yes sir. and you know in fact ladies love sweet words <laughs> <laughs> we also love sweet words <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's an appenda. Like in it, they love an appenda. Zaidi, yes, sir. And so the devil came with some sweet words, yes, and now Eve 
was already taken by the by, by the words of the devil yes sir and now that changed his thoughts and, and the one thing i have realized mm -hmm. the words of the devil pointed to her yeah she, starts, yeah she started seeing that this this uh, fruit was good for her, her. yeah uh -huh. it pointed to her to her self wow yeah it mm -hmm. pointed to self mm -hmm. now this reminds me anytime when you look at yourself yes <laughs> you disqualify yourself you disqualify yourself <laughs> yes sir <laughs> As the Bible says, as we look unto Jesus, the elder and the finisher ah, of our faith. We should, so anything that does not point you to Jesus yeah. will point you to yourself. It is another way. And, and wow, wow. <laughs> way. That is another way. And it disqualifies you. It, it disqualifies you. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at what Adam and Eve did, mm -hmm. there was one way that was given mm -hmm. that when you eat of this tree, you surely die. Mm -hmm. And again, the devil comes and tells them, you shall not die. Mm -hmm. You will be like God. Mm -hmm. If Eve, mm -hmm. so in fact, the problem was Adam had, Adam, mm -hmm. Adam God spoke to Adam mm -hmm. and told Adam what should not be eaten. But again, Adam didn't educate her wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why when Eve was asked, yeah. she was quick to respond without learning yes. from the husband mm. and that's where death came from mm. if adam had educated her wife mm. then they would be alive mm. they could have not been separated from god mm. so this is to say another way came because eve was deceived wow. he didn't know the truth she didn't know the truth mm -hmm. she didn't know the truth because she, she was ignorant first yeah uh, yeah and not knowing she not was know, ignorant. yeah she was ignorant and then she was deceived yeah wow she was not established into the truth. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> now that is beautiful. Eh? Yeah, she was not established. But if she was established, she could have not eaten that fruit. In fact, wow. she could have said the exact words that was told. Wow. But now she gave her own ideas. So if you are not established in the way of God, yeah. you, it is very easy for you to be deceived. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. that is what is happening in the world today. Mm -hmm. You are not... You, you 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 are not educated in the word of god you know ma many other times we usually say in this show we tell people to read the word of god for themselves mm -hmm. because someone will read the bible mm -hmm. out of context you will take a uh you will take a con <laughs> out, of the, the out of the context yeah and give you the con and and because you do man. not know because mm -hmm. as as if mm -hmm. as just if was mm -hmm. uh if it was not told by mm -hmm. adam he was not educated yeah. in the way of god mm -hmm. because you do not know what the word says you yeah. will take the corn mm -hmm. and believe it as truth yeah and believe it as the way mm -hmm. and then you establish your own doctrine mm -hmm. and it takes you out of the way of God, mm -hmm. and in you preaching it to other people, yeah. you start taking them out of the way of God. You are conning them. You're, and you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're taking them out of the way of God. You yeah. are con. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. So ignorance, number one. Mm -hmm. So okay, we have seen two things from yeah. uh, from from Genesis chapter three. Mm -hmm. Ignorance yeah. and deception yeah. takes man out of the way of, of God. God. Yeah. We shall continue from there. Let us have a break. Do not go far, we're coming back. Welcome back. This is the Beholders Church with us, Christ Beholders. I am with you, Ian Famande Royalty, and my fellow brother, Freddy Sky Blessing. Now, uh, we left it where a man has been, where a man and woman have been deceived uh, because of ignorance and listening to the wrong voice and listening to the long uh, to the to the wrong word now really yes sir. Uh, now that has led man out of the way mm -hmm. of god yeah and man has fallen from the reality of, mm -hmm. of god yeah and he has started living uh, a fallen world in a fallen world separated from god yeah which god had said would happen if they listen to another voice, mm -hmm. <laughs> if they don't follow his word, yeah. man, uh, God had promised that it would happen. It was not God's fault, but it is man's fault. Yeah, it was man's fault. Because uh, we, 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 we can run to the, book of, uh, to the book of Romans, chapter 5. The Bible says that it is by one man that sin entered the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is not the devil who brought sin. It, was, it wasn't the devil. We need to understand that. Mm -hmm. It is man, it is by one man's it is by one man's error that wow. sin entered mm -hmm. into the world. Yeah. And man started living in his own way 
not the plan of God, but yeah, but uh, but but, it, but in His own plan. Now, we we can run forward to the book of Exodus, uh -huh. where we see man. Uh, where we see God, God, God actually in the book of Genesis starts the plan of salvation. Yeah. Immediately man has fallen. Mm -hmm. In yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. not even immediately, we see you <laughs> even deeper than that. Yeah. God had already, Christ was sacrificed or a lamb was sacrificed even before the foundation of the world. So the way to relate with God was already there before the foundation of the world. Yeah. But man has just fallen from it. Sure, and sure. man thinks that there is a way there is his own way mm -hmm. that will bring him back to God. Yeah. He and man asks, himself. man asks for the law. Yeah. And what we see is now the law was not the way of God. Mm -hmm. Let us take that direction, sir. Uh -huh. And now as we come to understand what salvation is mm -hmm. and why the law was necessary and uh, why salvation is necessary. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So at first, man asked for the law. Mm -hmm. They asked it. Mm -hmm. It was not the way of God. Mm -hmm. The way of God was believe mm -hmm. in what I have given you, in what mm -hmm. I have told you. Yes, believe that I love you. Mm -hmm. But man wants to prove God that we also love you <laughs> <Yes> <laughs> by sir. fulfilling the law. Yes, sir. Man, man wanted to be, to be, to be, to, to see a part that he's playing. Mm -hmm. Wanted to play a part. Mm -hmm. But God had so not much. called man mm -hmm. to have his to have his own part. Mm -hmm. Man was called to come rest. You remember mm -hmm. the Bible says. Come to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. So the number one vision of God was giving man rest yes, from the law. Mm -hmm. Because that was the only way from the beginning of time. Uh -huh. as, the, as, as you have said when we began, that the Son of God was crucified before the foundation of the earth. This is to say that salvation was provided mm -hmm. even before man was created. Mm -hmm. Because God knew it maybe someday something will happen. Mm -hmm. So he provided the solution mm -hmm. before the problem appeared. Yeah, before the problem appeared. Yeah. Wow. But now, after the solution was provided, mm -hmm. they didn't give heed to that which was provided. Wow. They chose to talk, to take their own ways, wow. and they asked for their own ways. Wow. Mm -hmm. And when they took the law, mm -hmm. they died immediately. Wow. Even before fulfilling it, mm -hmm. they died. It killed them in their death. Yeah, with their, with their leader. <laughs> <laughs> their leader broke it, yes, then sir. they died. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, from what you've told us, mm -hmm. when you go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4, uh -huh. the Bible says that, verse 2, it says that for indeed the gospel was preached to them, the same gospel that we are preaching to them. Mm -hmm, yeah. It was preached to them as well uh, it as was preached to, to them. Mm -hmm. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they had did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them who had it. Yeah. So you told us that God wanted us to believe him. Yeah. He wanted us to believe in what he has said. Yeah. That should have kept us in his way. Yeah. But now God has given them the same message that we are receiving today, but in them, that word, it was not mixed by faith. Yeah. So they did not believe it, and they fell from the way of God. Yeah. And they asked for their, they, 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 they wanted to take their own way. Why well, you have told us <laughs> that it is so hard for a man, mm -hmm. not, it is so hard for a man to accept something that they have not played a part in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and why is that? Is there, is, do you know, do you have a reason? I, 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 I think it's the deception of the devil. Uh -huh. Man wants to believe in himself. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the moment you believe in yourself, mm -hmm. you are disqualified from salvation. Wow. You have disqualified yourself wow. from salvation. Mm -hmm. So the devil will always show you you can do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. But it was not so from the beginning of time. Wow. God it knew. Never. It was never. One day, one, one, day, one day, Adam tried mm -hmm. to depend on his own knowledge, mm -hmm. but he fell short. Mm -hmm. How much more you, and you are under the law there. <laughs> you so are under the law. Wow. When you depend on your, on your own knowledge, you, you fall. Yeah, you will fall. So do you know what I'm deriving from all this since we began? Mm -hmm. That self, yeah. self has always been the problem. Self, yeah, the problem is self. So if self is the problem, mm -hmm. it cannot be the one to save you. Yeah. Wow. And that is the way of man. Yeah. So you are your own problem. Self is the biggest problem that man has. Mm -hmm. And it cannot be the same that should save you. And in fact, the biggest enemy to defeat is self. Wow. When you defeat self, mm -hmm. uh, you can go far. Wow. <laughs> wow. When you defeat self. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. Renew your mind in mm -hmm. the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. The more you are renewing your mind, 
your defeating self. Your defeating self. And now you are being awakened to the reality that you no longer live, yeah. but Christ lives in the inside of you. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is not it is you him who works in you both to be like and to do of his good place. No, it's not your life. It is not your life. It is his life. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. That is amazing. So self is the problem. Yeah. Self has come because of unbelief. Mm -hmm. Not believing. Yeah. Refusing to believe the word of God and believing another word mm -hmm. that is not of God. Yeah. It has taken man out of the way. And uh now man has fallen, mm -hmm. and now we, we start seeing the necessity of salvation. Yeah, that which made you fall cannot be the same to save you. Yeah, or what do you think about that? It is the self that has produced the falling. Mm -hmm. You have you have pointed to your own self. Mm -hmm. You have chosen that which points to your own yeah. self. You are pointing to your own works, mm -hmm. and that has made you fall. Mm -hmm. It cannot be the same. Yeah, that saves you. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, when you try, as we, are, we have just said, mm -hmm. when you try to work on self, mm -hmm. you will be separated from God. Mm -hmm. It's like when, when a man tries to build himself up, mm -hmm. he forgets mm -hmm. who is the maker. Wow. It is only the maker who has the ability to build you. Wow. That's why the Bible says, uh -huh. God made. Uh -huh. No man has the ability to make a man. Uh -huh. It is only God. So if it is God who made, it is the same same God who has the ability to sustain you and to keep you to keep to, to keep you growing. Mm -hmm. There is only God. You know, when you look at manufacturing, mm -hmm. yeah. For example, uh, I have a phone. Mm -hmm. This phone has a manufacturer. It has yeah. a person who made this phone. He made this phone knowing the purpose of the phone, mm -hmm. and he's the one who knows how he made it. Yeah. But if this phone one day decides to go against the will of the maker. Mm -hmm. Like now, uh, I <laughs> I press the button that should take me to WhatsApp, mm -hmm. and it takes me to YouTube. Yeah. Then when I press YouTube, when I when I when I press play, mm -hmm. it takes me to it starts calling Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know the, the the phone has has decided to to do its own thing. Yeah, yeah. And not the command that it is receiving from the uh from the from the user. Mm -hmm. What, what will the owner do to that phone? <laughs> the Bible says, <laughs> if I, I, I love relating things with the word of God. Yes, sir, it's okay. It's the, okay. Uh -huh. there's, there's this scripture uh -huh. that uh, Jesus used, yes, and some people misinterpret it. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, if any tree that doesn't bear fruit, mm -hmm. he cuts it. Wow. Now, the cutting, mm -hmm. the word cutting is lifting it mm -hmm. up. Yeah, so what the owner will do, mm -hmm. will not throw away the phone, mm -hmm. but he will look exactly. where the problem is uh -huh. and solve the problem. And fix it. And fix it. You see, if he's yeah. a good owner. If he's a good owner. A bad owner will destroy it. Yeah, he'll destroy it and throw it away. And throw it away. <laughs> but a good owner. Yeah. The good, a good maker. Yeah. And God is good. Yeah. He takes the phone, mm -hmm. or he takes the, the product, yeah. and fixes it, yeah. and puts it back according, uh, to where it was supposed to be in the yeah. last place. Yeah. yeah. And I believe that is what God did. Yeah, that's what God that did. And I believe that is the necessity of salvation. Yeah. Because man was like that broken phone. Yeah. Yeah. And God chose. Not to destroy it. Mm -hmm. In fact, there is a place where God had thought of destroying man. Yeah, in Genesis. He had thought of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But, 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 but there is a there is the better way. Mm -hmm. There is a better way of dealing with evil. Yeah. And of dealing with sin. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that Noah found grace. And you Noah know, found grace. Can we go to the book of Genesis chapter six? There is something so wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful about about uh, Genesis chapter six. Because. Uh, God is a good God. God is a good maker. God is a good father. <laughs> yeah, and He's a good creator. The Bible says in Genesis chapter six, verse. Uh, I want to start from verse from verse five. The Bible says Genesis six Genesis six verse five. Those are very many S's. <laughs> <laughs> then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. Yeah. And the Lord was sorry he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. The Bible says in verse 7, So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created on the, from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing, and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. Verse 8 is very important. Yeah. Genesis 6, 6 verse 8 says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Wow. So, 
the Lord's plan was to clear the whole world. Yeah. Everything yeah. that is in it. Mm-hmm. But what saved man? Grace. It's grace. The Bible wow. says we are seeing increased mm-hmm. grace superabounded super in the book of Romans. It has not started now. It has not started now. It did now. not start in the book, book of Romans. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the book of Genesis. Yeah. That when man decided to destroy, when God decided to destroy everything that was against him mm-hmm. and against his way, yeah. that was in the other way, yeah. someone found grace. It, it began the moment the fall of man. Mm-hmm. Began mm-hmm. that that time the grace of God manifested. The grace of man when, manifested. when God when God keyed a lamp and covered man wow. because Adam was saying I am naked. So it's not even at the time of Noah. No, <laughs> grace has been there from the beginning of from time. The beginning of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So can we say the way of God is mm-hmm. the way of grace? Yeah. And what does that mean? Mean the way of God is the way of grace. Mm-hmm. God wants wants us to relate with Him by grace. Wow. God 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 is not interested with relating with us through our own performance mm-hmm. no he wills mm-hmm. to see us mm-hmm. doing according to what he has given us wow. that's what the bible says that it is god who works in you both to will and to do so first he works in you mm-hmm. so that you can work out that which has worked in the Boy. inside of you wow. and that's grace mm-hmm. i know sometimes you might fall sh- fa- fa- fell short you might go astray mm-hmm. But going astray, it doesn't mean you have missed God. Yes, sir. God comes back. Mm-hmm. He's a good shepherd mm-hmm. and brings wow. you back. Mm-hmm. That's the grace of God. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you may think you are, you are the worst murderer in this earth. Mm-hmm. But when you're sleeping, mm-hmm. you will feel the love of God. Wow. The Bible says it is the love of God that draws us to repentance. Mm-hmm. So the God wants to relate with us through his own grace, wow. not through our own ways. Wow. Yeah. You know, you told us mm-hmm. for a good maker, for a good creator mm-hmm. and even for a good product now let me speak about the product yeah. <laughs> a good product would go back to its maker mm-hmm. when it finds itself when it find in itself there is a fault yeah yeah you know there is a there is a way men there is a way men especially uh, those who are in the church mm-hmm. there is a deception in the church that yeah. that has cost men when they think they have sinned against god mm-hmm. they run away yeah yeah now you have run away with your with your fault with your sin and your mistake and with your mistake in it it's like this phone having a having a, a mistake having a, a, a fault in it mm-hmm. and when it realizes it, it has a fault in it it runs away from its yeah. manufacturer yeah. from its maker mm-hmm. the best thing this phone would do is take itself back or the use of the phone will do is take the phone back to its maker yeah if there, there is even these things called warranties, mm-hmm. yeah, you, if, yeah. this phone, if this phone starts misbehaving, or if this product starts misbehaving, bring it to us, we fix it for you, or we give you a new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. See? The best thing to do when you think or when you feel you have fallen short of the glory of God is to go back to God because it is Him who can make you. It is Him who can fix you. Yeah. And He is ready to fix you. You don't run away from God. Go to God. The best thing to do when you feel as if you have sinned is not to run away from the presence of God. That will not help you. Mm -hmm. Is to go back to Him and allow Him to fix you and work in you both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Uh Wow. Let us continue. In fact, I was looking at the book of uh, Hosea, chapter number 4, verse Mm 1. Hosea 4, 1. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Mm -hmm. Hear the words of the Lord, you children mm-hmm. of Israel. Mm-hmm. For the Lord brings charge against the inhabitation of the land. Yes, sir. There is no truth, mm-hmm. no mercy, mm-hmm. or knowledge mm-hmm. of God mm-hmm. in the land. Yes, there is a version, I think it's the King James. Yes, sir. Says this, this, yeah, he says, Hear the word of the Lord, mm-hmm. you children of Israel. Mm-hmm. For the Lord has controversy mm-hmm. with the inhabitation of the land. Mm-hmm. Because there is no truth, mm-hmm. there is no mercy, mm-hmm. there is no knowledge mm-hmm. of God in the land. Yes, sir. Now, what happens, there is one truth, Mm -hmm. but now in this land, there was controversy. Mm -hmm. There was another truth, Mm -hmm. but there is not the truth of God. There was found to be controversy. Mm -hmm. So God and man could not communicate Mm -hmm. how it should be. Mm -hmm. God could say you are healed, Mm -hmm. but he's saying, 
I want to be healed. Yes, sir. God say you are forgiven. Controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are saying, God, forgive me. Uh-huh. That is the controversy that was found. Wow. And that is a deception of the devil. Yes, sir. He comes and tells you, you need to be forgiven. Mm. Like, serious, you need to be forgiven. But God is just saying, I have forgiven you. Yes, sir. I have healed you. Mm. No, that's the controversy. The moment there is controversy in the body of Christ, yes, misunderstanding will be there. Wow. And that's how the gospel will. When one scripture is, is misinterpreted, mm. we have lost the whole nation. Wow. So when one scripture is, is interpreted well, mm. then the whole nation is saved because everyone will be in the truth. Mm. Everyone will hear God clearly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the problem is the truth. Mm. Controversy. The controversy. Yeah. There being two ways. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. Two truths. Mm-hmm. There being two forms of knowledge. Yeah. Yet the truth should be one. It should be one. The truth is objective. Yeah. It is not subjective. Yeah. You do not have your truth mm-hmm. and I have my truth. Yeah. And uh, the other person has their truth. Mm-hmm. No. The truth is one. It is, it is objective and it is the truth of God. Yeah. That's what Jesus says. I am the truth. Yeah. One truth. I am the way. One way. Yeah. And I am the life. One mm-hmm. life. It's only through him. That means, wow. Huh? He says grace and truth came mm-hmm. through Jesus Christ. Wow. So it's through the grace of God that you can relate with God. Wow. Salvation mm-hmm. is by grace. Salvation in fact, yeah, the Bible says the grace of God that brings salvation mm-hmm. has appeared to all men. Mm-hmm. So salvation comes by grace. Salvation comes by grace. Wow. What is grace? Grace is unmerited favor, mm-hmm. something you didn't deserve, wow. but it has been given to you. Wow. Yes, I know you are wicked, mm-hmm. but the grace of God has appeared to you. Wow. That's how God is. Wow. When God looks at me, mm-hmm. he says, this is my beloved son mm-hmm. in whom I'm well pleased. Mm-hmm. Not because of what the son is doing, yes. but because the grace of God has covered wow. his son. Yeah. So can you say that grace is the way of God? Grace is the way of God. Wow. And works as that, they try to no, yeah. self, or let, let me call it self. Mm-hmm. Self is the way of man. Yeah. And that is the way that is being addressed in the mm-hmm. book of Proverbs 14, 12. Yeah. That is the way that seems right to men. Mm-hmm. Because works or uh, the works of trying to fulfill the law, they tell you that if you keep the Ten Commandments, yeah. God will love you. Mm-hmm. Is that true, sir? No. <laughs> No, the moment you try to keep those ten, yes, sir. let's leave alone the others. Yes, sir. The ten. <laughs> are there others? Yeah, there are many. <laughs> they were, I think there were 600 and something. 600 and 13. And 13 laws. Yes, uh, if now you can't keep the ten commandments, uh-huh. how do you suppose you'll, you'll keep the 619? If, if, you can't, if you can't keep ten. The least. You can't. You can't keep the ten. Yeah. What about 600? <laughs> they were given ten, yes. but they broke them. They broke them in even, the 613. Even before Moses uh-huh. gave them, uh-huh. they had already broken one. Do not bow down before any other god but me. <laughs> when Moses saw it, he broke the he commandment. Broke <laughs> <laughs> so he's like... If what if commandment number one they mm-hmm. have already broken yeah even before hearing it yeah <laughs> even before it was given to them <laughs> and and remember the moment you have been told not to do you will do it more <laughs> he says that when the law came mm-hmm. it aroused in me cons- yeah con- conceive is a word it, that Paul uses it arose a very a very mm-hmm. a very, a very C C S one uh-huh. a lot of C and <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. So when the law is given, mm-hmm. it, it, it it arouses that I've told you not to. Let yeah. Do not eat sugar. That is your mother. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sugar in the cupboard. Mm-hmm. Do, do not, not eat it. Don't. Ah, what does Freddie do? I eat it. <laughs> With thanksgiving, <laughs> lifting up holy hands. <laughs> <laughs> then, but I am being condemned. Yeah. Why did you do? Did you it do? is not I. I am the willing what? is there, but the doing <laughs> is not there. <laughs> and you said something so powerful because you you want you want not to eat it, mm-hmm. but the ability not to eat yeah. is not there. Yeah. And that's what the law did. Mm-hmm. The law could tell you what not to do, but it couldn't give you the power yeah. not to do it. Yeah, yeah. But grace comes with the power and empowers you. It empowers you. Yeah. The Bible says that it is the grace of God that teaches, teaches us. us. It empowers us. Mm-hmm. Uh, to live a life free of ungodliness. Mm-hmm. Wow. But then there's a difference between teaching mm-hmm. and doing. Mm-hmm. Because if the law tells you, do this, mm-hmm. you will fall short. Mm-hmm. But if the law tells you, the grace of God tells you, I will teach you. The mm-hmm. moment you are taught, mm-hmm. you can do it without mm-hmm. straining. <laughs> you know, before we came here, we were discussing how 
how our lives, all of them, have yeah, our, yeah, the our whole life from childhood mm -hmm. has been a work of grace. Yeah, uh, Freddy, mucus would come out of your <laughs> <laughs> out of your nose, and then at the same time Seriously? you're drinking porridge. Yeah, and at the same time you are crying because mm -hmm. you don't want to drink that porridge. <laughs> no, you have tattoos <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you have lines all over your all over your face because mm -hmm. the mucus you removed it with your hand. Yeah, uh, you have another line here because of the cup of porridge. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you have another other lines here. And you're sweating. <laughs> <And then laughs> <laughs> But someone taught you yeah. how to take care of the mucus, yeah. how to drink the porridge without mm -hmm. <laughs> applying those lines on your yeah. forehead. Yeah. And someone taught you how to wipe away your tears after mm -hmm. you cried. Yeah. And now that gave you the power and, and the ability mm -hmm. to do it for yourself. Yeah. Because right now, if you feel mucus coming out of your 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 your, your nose, what do you do? You've been taught to remove, yeah, yeah, to clean your nose. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah, you've been taught to how to wipe your tears. Yeah, what if you are not taught? What if your mother told you, wipe those tears, and he has not even shown you how to wipe them? <laughs> you will be so powerless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You see, and, and mm -hmm. that is what the law does. The law tells you what not to do. Yeah, it is the way of men because men ask for it. Yeah, it tells you what not to do, but it does not show you how not to do it, mm -hmm. and that. That cannot bring salvation because that is telling you you have to save yourself. Yeah. But it's not telling you how to save yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Save yourself, Freddy. You are a <laughs> sinner. You have fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah. Save yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't. You can't save yourself. But now salvation is the way of God that comes and Replace saves man. you. Mm -hmm. It yeah. saves you. You you are helpless. You are helpless. Yeah. It helps you. Mm -hmm. It uplifts you. Yeah. It graces you. Yeah. The grace of God and calls you qualified. And calls you qualified. My of goodness. everything that the law had disqualified, mm -hmm. yeah. it tells you now you are qualified. Mm -hmm. You are a son of God. Yeah. And now you can do all things, not by your power, mm -hmm. but by me living in you. Wow. And all you have to do is believe. Sir, I think uh, we've come to the we are coming to the end of the show. Mm -hmm. I see our time is much gone. Yeah. And uh, I want you I want to take to give you a chance and uh, have a parting shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell them one thing that you would not want them to forget. There's a way that seems to be right for a man, yeah. but the end is death. Mm. The only way is Jesus Christ. Mm. Follow the love of God. Let God love you. The Bible says, keep you, keep yourself in the love of God. Wow. Depend on that love. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. Allow the word of God to fill you. Allow the word of God to be full in you, you know, to take the whole of you. Because once you listen to another word, once you try to follow another way or your own way you will always end up in separation from god and that all that is what we call death but when you follow god's way you will always remain in him in the perfect in a perfect relationship with him my name is ian commander royalty uh, my colleague's name was freddy sky blessing this was the beholders chat we have not finished on this uh, uh, on this series of salvation we are just starting so there will be a part two and maybe a part three we don't know so, <laughs> see you next time god bless you there is only one way to god and that way is christ you are blessed